Okay, this video is going over box plots. So box plots are really fun. So uh, let's fill in our lesson goal. So our lesson goal, make sure your name's on your paper. I can use the five number summary to construct a box plot and explain what this information shows. Okay, we're gonna start with the warm up. Hopefully you were in class, so you may skip through the beginning part of the warm up. So the mean is when we add up all of the values and divide it by how many numbers there are. So I'm gonna add them up. When you add them up, you should get 35. And then we divide it by seven because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So 35 divided by seven is five. So our mean average is five. The mode is the most common or the most often. So it's the number we see the most. The only number we see repeated more than once is six. So six is gonna be our mode, the most often. The median is the middle, the middle number, once it's arranged from smallest to biggest. So if I'm gonna find my middle number, some people like to mark it off one at a time until they find their middle number. And our middle number in this case is six. So my median or my middle number is six. The range is the biggest number in your data minus the smallest number in your data. And it's just one value. So eight minus one is seven. So my range is seven. You don't write eight minus one, you just write seven. So these are our ways to show different types of things with data. We're gonna use the median to help us create a box plot though today. So a box plot. So we're gonna use, we're just gonna use the median of six to help us create a box plot. So um, I'm gonna zoom up here. I'm gonna zoom out a tiny bit. Okay. So we need to use our data to create a box plot. And to create a box plot, we need to know five values. So the first value we need to know is our median. So our middle number, our median, is also called Q2. Q2, or quartile two. It's what splits our data right in half. So um, that means 50% of my data is to the left of my median, and 50% of my data is to the right of my median. So Q2, or our median, is six, okay? The next piece of information we need to know is Q1, or quartile one. So quartile one is the middle or the median of our first half of our data. So I split my data in half, and my middle of my first half of, half of my data is called Q1. So three is my Q1. It's splitting up our data into quarters, okay? Um, and then I'm going to find Q3. Q3 is also called the upper quartile. So the upper quartile is the middle of the top half of our data, and we don't include our median if it's circled. So in this case, our Q3 is seven. That's our middle of our top half of our data. Then we have our maximum number and our minimum number. So this is nice and easy. So our biggest number is eight, our max is eight, and our smallest number is one. So now I have the five numbers I need to create a box plot, sometimes called a box and whisker plot. So I'm gonna put a dot above each of these five values. So a dot above my minimum, which is one, a dot above my Q1, which is three, a dot above my Q2, which is six, a dot above my Q3, which is seven, a dot above my maximum, which is eight. So make sure you have those five values um, on your number line. And then to create the box plot, we look at the three values inside, Q1, Q2, and Q3. So I create a box around these values, okay? So notice the edge of the box is Q1, the other edge of the box is Q3. The line inside the box is our median, or also called our Q2. But just remember, our median is also called Q2. It's the line inside the box. So box plot can help us find those values very easily. Then from Q3 to our max, we draw a line that's called like a whisker. And then from our Q1 to our minimum, we draw a line. So there is my box plot. Draw it on your paper. You need to know how to find a box plot. So you need to know these five values to create a box plot. 
our box plot just splits our data into 25%. So from our minimum to our Q1, that's 25% of our data. From Q1 to Q2 is 25% of our data. From Q2 to Q3 is 25% of our data. And from Q3 to our max is 25% of our data. Notice inside the box is 50% of our data, okay? But the whole thing shows all of our data, but it shows where how the data is spread out, okay? Um, so that's, a uh, box plot can quickly help us find that. And then the last question on your paper, it says, what is the interquartile range? And you're, you're gonna need to write this um, on your paper. Interquartile range is like the range. So the range is the biggest number minus the smallest number. The interquartile range is the right side of the box minus the left side of the box. Or in other words, Q3 minus Q1. And in this case, Q3 is seven and Q1 is three and seven minus three is four. So my interquartile range, interquartile range, and it, yours should be on your paper, tile range is four. Okay, cool beans. Now we're moving on to the other side. Activity number two. In a word game, one letter is worth one point. This dot plot shows the scores for 20 common words. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in. So first thing, it's asking what is the median score, the quartile one, quartile three, and quart inner quartile range. So I'm gonna just use my dots here. My dots are already range from smallest to biggest, so I'm gonna find my middle dot, my median. So I'm gonna go in one, two, three, four, And so my middle dot is between six and seven. So if I had these lined up, it'd be between six and seven. So I know my median is 6.5 because the number right in between six and seven is 6.5. I can also do that by adding the two and then dividing by two, which would also give me 6.5, okay? My quartile one, so I'm gonna note that my median is in between these guys. So I'm gonna write, so my quartile one is gonna be the middle of the first half of my data and quartile three is the middle of my second half of my data. So I'm gonna find my middle. One, two, three, four. And then it's in between whatever would be in between four and six, which is five. So it's in between five and five. So my quartile one is just five, okay? My quartile three, now I'm looking at the top half of my data and finding the middle. Okay, so my middle number, did I do that right? One, two, three, four, all right. So my middle number is eight. So my quartile three is eight. The interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 is eight minus Q1, which is five. Eight minus five equals three. So my interquartile range is three. So we can kind of do that a little quicker than normal. Ooh, I realized I didn't include this, tw this 22. But either way, it would be eight, because it's in between eight and eight, so. Okay, so quartile one, quartile three, the median, and interquartile range. Okay, moving on to activity number two, and then you'll do the cool down. So each student in a class recorded how many books they read during the summer. Here's a box plot that summarizes their data. What is the greatest number of books? So the greatest number of books is the number over here. This is our max, okay? So it's between 14 and 16, so it would be 15. So 15 is our greatest number of books. Then it says, what is the median? The median is the line inside the box. So the line inside the box is six. So that's our median. It's also called Q2, okay? Then the last one says, what is the interquartile range? Sorry, to the Sorry, to the Sorry about that. Okay, so interquartile range, we're looking at the edges of the box. So we're looking at Q3 and Q1, and we're subtracting them. So we're subtracting the edges of the box for interquartile range. So Q3 is 10, and Q1 is 5, because it's between 4 and 6. So we just subtract 10 minus 5, or Q3 minus Q1, and we get 5. Okay, do the cool down and check with me to see if you did it right. Sorry for the distractions. Okay, thanks for watching.